What is up everybody? So this is our eight question series on word problems. These are eight questions you absolutely must know for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT. Let's get into it. For this one, what we have to do is not only write an algebraic expression, but we also have to identify what the variable stands for. All right, so this one says, a sales team earns $15 an hour for giving sales presentations. If the team manages to sell to more than one buyer, they will receive an additional $10 per buyer. If the sales team sells to five buyers, what expression could be used to determine how much the sales team earned? Okay, so whenever you're dealing with a word problem and you need to translate it into math, what you gotta do is just take it step by step. So let's work with what we have here. We know that the sales team earns $15 every hour. So that part we can write right away. $15 every hour. So it's $15 times the number of hours. So we can say 15 times H or just 15 H. Now, what else do we know? We know that if the team manages to sell to more than one buyer, they will receive an additional $10 per buyer. So if they sell to more than one, they get $10 per buyer. Now, what does it tell us? It says the sales team sells to five buyers. So what do we know? Because it's more than one, it's five. What do they get? $10 per buyer. That's a fixed number. It's just gonna be five times 10, which is what? 50. So what is our expression? 15H plus 50. Now, let's take a look at the answer choices. Now, if you take a look at the answer choices, what do you notice? All of them are written with X as the variable. So we can just change ours. Instead of H, we can write X. Remember, variables can be changed. We just used H to represent ours. So we could say 15X plus 50. Now, what did X represent? Because all the answer choices are all also asking us what the variable actually represents. And in our problem, what did we say? Our H, now our X, represents the number of hours spent giving the sales presentations. So let's take a look at the expressions. The only one that is 15X plus 50 is answer choice D, and it does say where X is the number of hours spent presenting, which is perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT, and make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe, because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like yeah. love it. I think yeah. that's the one.